YouTube, what's going on YouTube? What is going on? What is happening, man? Of course, you got one more time, Deja Alex Jr. And I am back with another fragrance video, all right? So today we are gonna be giving uh, my first full impressions of a very popular fragrance that is out there in the community right now um, from the House of Sphinx Fragrances, all right? So, but before we get into it, I definitely wanna highlight my smell good family. Hopefully y'all are doing well, doing great, doing fantastic. Um, positive energy and positive vibes. Y'all know how we give it up here on this channel. Um, nothing negative, no negativity um, at all. You know what I'm saying? We're here to have a good time and uh, give our thoughts and opinions on this beautiful hobby that we have or religion or addiction, <laughs> which is fragrances, okay? So um, shout out to my guy Neeb over at Aromatics. Um, this was sent to me. And uh, I'm very excited to give my thoughts on the fragrance. I'm a big fan of coconut, especially when it is done right, all right? So I'm very excited to see what my guy Neeb and uh, Sphinx Fragrances were able to put together. So this is my first time smelling a Sphinx Fragrance, and I'm excited, not gonna keep you waiting. Let's go ahead and jump into it, all right? So here's the box that had come in, nothing too special, all white box, Sphinx, um, Extract de Parfum is the concentration, and let that be known, um, here it is. It might be clashing with my studio like quite a bit, all right? Um, then we have when scent was history on the back, okay? I wonder what they mean by that, when scent was history. And on the bottom, 100 ml, 3.3 ounce. When scent was history, hmm. Kind of got me thinking, all right? So let's go ahead and get this open and get to what y'all want to hear me discuss. And as my initial thoughts on coconut daiquiri, all right? So we're pulling out the bottle, and the bottle is nice in hand. Of course, I've seen it. I've seen some of my guys uh, review this fragrance uh, for sure, but the, bo the bottle is nice, and here we go. Sphinx Fragrances in collaboration with my guy Aromatics. We got Coconut Daiquiri, all right? Green bottle, green and gold. I'm a big fan of green and a big fan of gold. Nice plate. The cap kind of just kind of snugs, snugly goes into place. And on the back, there it is again, when scent was history on the back when scent was history, if y'all can see that. On the bottom, nothing on the bottom. Um, all the details are really on the bottle, 3.3 ounce. Um, extract the parfum 100 ml on the front, all right? So, nice, I like it. Very hefty bottle. A cap just kind of snugs into place, all right? They also sent me a tester strip as well, all right? A very own Sphinx fragrance tester strip, so I'm gonna use it. And um, I don't have nothing on my hands, so I'm gonna put it on paper, then I'm gonna put it on skin. And let's see what we got. All right, so atomizer, decent atomizer for sure. Got about a good four sprays, and here we go. Okay, so upon first blast, I'm getting like this lime, it's a very citrusy lime. Um, okay, this this is this is interesting in the opening. Cause it's got kind of like a lot going on here, but the lime is starting to show itself. There's some lime and there's like a creaminess going on here. I like that lime. That lime is really nice. I like that. Op this opening is really good. It's really good. So the coconut is starting to surface. That was interesting how that played out on paper. The lime and then the coconut started to make itself present. So on paper, the quality is good, the scent is good, it's giving me that coconut, uh, citrusy, and like a slight, I'm not gonna say rummy, but there is some type of, I get some type of booziness. Um, we'll check the notes in just a second. Some type of boozy addition uh, with this fragrance. Okay, so I'm done with paper. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get this on skin. I'm gonna go two sprays on my skin. I'm gonna let that sit there a while. We're gonna go ahead and get to the notes as this kind of dries down. But our first impression, our first sniff, sniff, excuse me, I like this fragrance. This is gonna be a fragrance that I am going to definitely be wearing because it's just that time of year, especially where I am down here in Florida, for sure. So top notes, coconut, lime, bergamot, mandarin, and orange, okay? In the mids, apple fruits, yangalang, jasmine, and hibiscus. And down in the base, you have vanilla. There's that additional sweetness. Rum, sugar, musk, and amber. Okay, so there's the sweetness with the vanilla, the amber, and the sugar. I didn't get much musk in the opening, but let's go ahead and go to skin here. Okay, so the lime is there, the coconut is there, and there is a sweetness there. And I'm, I'm 
it's not vanilla, it's more on that ambery, sugary side. Just in the opening. This is a sweeter type of coconut experience of a fragrance. Just a little bit of more sweetness going on. And yeah, now I am getting like that sugary effect, that sugary sweetness effect for sure. The lime is still present. I, I am getting some of that orange note, that orange touch. I am getting it. I, and then um, I have been fortunate enough to be able to smell hibiscus. Um, not in a raw form, but almost a raw form. And I am picking it up. And I was wondering what that was. And I, I used to use a hibiscus soap as well in the raw form. So I am picking up the hibiscus. Wow, that's it. I haven't smelled it in a while, but I do pick it up. And it is giving a great touch. Okay, so our first impressions off the rip. I do like this. Um, this is... A very well done fragrance for what, especially what I will be using it for. Very excited about the extract to perfume concentration. Um, of course, I can't speak to longevity and performance and how it really does its thing. And we'll I'll get back to you guys on that. But for the summertime, if you're looking for a sweet, well, a tropical, excuse me, a tropical, sexy fragrance, lover of coconut and citruses, but you're looking for just an additional touch of sweetness and not the rindy the rindy citruses or maybe the sunscreeny type of coconut vibe because you don't get that at all with this. There's no sunscreen elements at all with this for sure. I can't wait to wear this. I, I, I have a couple of things coming up where I'm going to be outside and moving around and I can't wait to experience this. So I'm going to be wearing this rather soon and looking forward to getting a full experience of this thing. But right off my uh, hand, the citruses have calmed down. The coconut is present. There's like a creaminess there, like a creamy nature there. And maybe that's coming from the vanilla. But the sweetness is coming from that sugary, ambery touch. I don't get much of the musk just yet. Maybe that's on the more of the dry down. But not much musk. I don't get much musk right now. But this is good. This is something that I am excited about <laughs> and I am very, very um, uh, happy with my experience so far and looking forward to seeing what it's about. Need, you got one, man. <laughs> for your, for your, I believe this is your first fragrance. Um, if it is not, excuse me, but if this is your first fragrance, man, this is really, really good. And for where I live in my demographic down here in Jacksonville, Florida, it is amazing. <laughs> it is hot. And there's beaches and there's pool parties and there's a lot of fun things that this would be so appropriate for right on time. We'll talk about a timely release. Neeb and Spinks, you guys got a good one here for sure. Um, I'll keep you guys posted and updated with my experiences from Coconut Daiquiri. But I do like this. I do. Especially the opening. That lime and orangey opening is it's, it's good and i'm a big fan of bergamots and limes especially lime and the fragrance i find it to be something that you don't get to experience often at least in my journey so far but the lime presentation is really really good a creamy vanilla and yeah that sugary sweetness it's not too much it's not too crazy um but it is a nice addition that i can appreciate with this fragrance for sure Good job, good job, man. I, I like this, man. I'm gonna be wearing this rather soon. Um, this stuff is good. Again, from the house of Sphinx, all right? We have Sphinx um, in collaboration with my guy Neeb over at Aromatics. We have coconut daiquiri, and this is good. I was looking at the plate. I really liked it, man. Like the, I'm not sure if that's like a King Tut or something like, but it's, 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 it's very nice. It's very, very good, all right? So again, shout out to my guy Neeb. For sending this over, man, I really enjoyed it. Great job, bro, for sure. And I'm looking forward to seeing what it's all about. All right. So let me know down below in the comments, smell good family. How many of you have smelled coconut daiquiri? What is your vibes? What is your thoughts? Let me know down below. I personally like it and looking forward to spending some time with it for sure. All right. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I think it is sold out right now, but I have the link down below. I think it is sold out last time that I checked. All right. And I also have another uh a sample, card of sample that they sent me for what is this? Oceanic Symphony. I don't think this is out yet at the time that I released this video, but um, I'm gonna check this out and be back with the first um, 
by that time it'll be a, a review because I'm going to try it out and I'll uh, see what it's all about because I've seen some stuff about it for sure. All right. So until next time, Smell Good family, y'all be cool, be safe, take care of yourselves. And if you would like to be the next member of the Smell Good family, what do you got to do? Easy. All you got to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, and meet me down in the comments. Me and the Smell Good family down in the comments. We can talk about what you love and what I love, and that is the beautiful art of fragrances that are subjective. <laughs> that are subjective, all right? Splagger up, splagger down, splagger that thing all around. And remember, what you put out in this world is what you're going to get back. Keep that energy positive, man, and uh, let's see what can happen for sure. All right. All right, Smell Good family. Y'all be cool, man. This is all right, man. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs>